Hey, I'm Ailey McDub, and you're watching Documented Ghost Stories. Today we're going to be talking about Hawaiian lore. Um, as you may or may not know, there's a lot, they believe in gods and spirits and things of that nature. And one thing that they believe in is that the gods and spirits do a march. And not just one, there's like many marches that they have. And they march to sacred places, um, and they're believed to be connections between the living and the dead, so that the dead can revisit Earth, and you know their favorite places of Earth. Also, um, they've been known to welcome the dying into their world, so they're almost like death in a way. So maybe like one of their gods is like a death god, and death marches them on all the spirits that they have on the earth which is kind of interesting i'd love to see like a bunch of ghosts just you know walking along a path and they actually make paths for these marches which is interesting also when these marches go on um, the wind blows very hard and it snaps branches off to clear paths for them they also come in storms with thunder and lightning um, heavy surfs, because you know, it's a lot of water down there. Yeah. And downpours of rain and flash floods. Um, in some marches, they've heard drummings and chantings and flutes. So, kind of something for them to march to. Um, some of the gods that they've seen have been burning torches, so they see like fires, well, contained fires in Hawaii. Um, they also sometimes appear during the days, and that's when they welcome the dying. You know, they kind of come in and take the dying people with them. But it'd be interesting to see a ghost in the daylight. I mean, I know some pictures have captured stuff like that, but having like a large group of ghosts being caught in the daytime is really interesting. And some of them have been known to look like dog people, as in having like a humanoid body, but having like dog parts like the snout or the tail. So that's kind of interesting. Um, also, they've been known to be dangerous, and they've been known to kill people using a ghost spear because I kind of think they're not like modern but they're very kind of old and they yeah they spear you with this ghost spear and it doesn't leave a mark so you just kind of like get hit with it and you die and then it kind of like disappears because it's part of them part of what they carry and so these people just end up like dead for no reason and to, they say to avert this, that you need to remove all your clothes, kinky, and lay face up. Not sure why. Maybe their perverted ghost on a march. I don't know. That's just interesting. Maybe it's a vulnerability thing. I'm not sure, but um, very interesting marching going on. I would. I think I'm going to look up some pictures, see what I can find, because that's, that is spooky shit, especially when you know that ghosts can kill you down there. So when you're on your honeymoon to Hawaii, watch yourself. 